I don't typically drink hot salsa on stream. I guess I do typically more now. <laughs> Man, this guy does look really good though, huh? I don't know. I don't know what his zone coverage is. That scares me a little bit. Just a little bit. But it does look like he'll probably be gone by my selection. I don't think he's going to make it all the way to my pick. I'm starting to realize. What about these two guys that we looked at? They're not super fast, but still, I take either of those guys. They look very good. Oh, gosh. Woo. Let's see. <laughs> Sounds good, franchise. Hope you have a good day, man. Thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> All right. So, what else do I need to scout? Okay, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I might just go ahead and draft players based on potential instead of who's already good. Because I'm not going to draft a quarterback that's going to start. It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to draft a running back that's going to start. I'm not going to, well, I could probably draft a fullback that's going to start. But I already have two on the roster. I'll probably end up cutting Thorne. Uh, but Johnson's been good for us. Wide receiver, I, I've got depth. You know, I've got depth there already. Javier Heward there. I also have Garner. I might draft the tight end. We'll see. Um, if I can find a guy that I think will step in and be better for us along the offensive line, I will. But I'd be shocked if we found somebody that, that's an improvement right off the bat. Except for maybe at center we could. Um, but again, I'm looking at a lot of backups. You know, I'm going to be drafting backup players. And so... If I'm going to draft a backup player, I might as well swing for the fences. Because a lot of these guys are already very young. Like, you know, I don't need to worry about them retiring or, or getting worse. They have a bright future ahead of them as it is. So I think it might be better to, to just swing for the fences with a few picks. Maybe guys that had good combines but don't have good stats and just hope we can develop them the way that we need to. Um, let's use our team XP though. <clears throat> Let's see. Hey, no worries, Wiffle. I hope everything's all right. You no need to apologize at all. Here is D, uh, Demarcus. I said DJ Pacinger. I wonder why. But here's Demarcus Pacinger. Okay, so this guy is actually getting very good. Get that to 80. All right, 78 overall. Paysinger actually looking like he could become a good corner for us here. There we go. And then Tavares Dees is still improving, despite already being a complete beast of a player. Let's see. He didn't even improve his overall there, but man... <clears throat> Yeah, Wiffle, that's a good idea. Why? Where did that come from? Out of curiosity. That is a good idea. I'm just curious, though. Um, Javier Heward. We're going to make this guy very good as well. Okay. His awareness is already solid. Catch is solid. I did say I wanted to improve his run blocking a little bit. It's just so expensive to do so. We'll have to do that slowly. Because I still want to get his release up. Route running. Improve your catch a little bit. Catch and traffic. Awareness. It's doing, uh, going all over the board for him. Still 92 overall, though. Let's see. <laughs> That's very true, Wiffle. That's a good idea. I'll probably actually do that. Good idea. All right. Um, Corey Coleman. He had a great season for us. Let's just get... Ah, uh, gosh, what do I even improve? He's so elite all over the board that I typically improve anyway. We'll do that one. Let's go over to his traits. Clutch. Let's make you clutch, sir. Let's make it so you fight for some yards as well. Okay, then we'll go back over here, and I can improve your awareness, or let's do route running. Okay, 92 overall. Can I improve anything else? No. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's fine, Wiffle. Uh, Wiffle, can you can you post the link to me really quick, or in Discord message me that link so I don't have to go looking for it in the pinned messages, if you don't mind, just before you go. 
Okay, Mick Tobin, clutch. I want all these guys to, to be clutch. All right. Boy, his awareness is pretty... His zone coverage is pretty low, too. I still need to improve his zone. But I do want all the guys to have that clutch trait, I think. I think that's going to be very, very important. Um... Just tell me the command for the original one and then the the one with the actual codes if you could message me that one. I'd appreciate it. Let's see. All right. Awareness. Keep getting awareness up. All right. That'll take Mike Luke to an 85. All right. We're improving these players. We're making some improvements. Alright. PJ Covington. I don't even... I think Covington's just straight up backup at this point. But again, I can just throw a ton of points on awareness and start to develop him this way. That'll take him to an 81 overall for a backup. I'll take it, man. He's already pretty young, too, so plenty of time. Um, anybody else that I... I might as well just... Let's see. I might go ahead and just start again. Awareness is so important when simulating. I might go ahead and start the uh, auto sim or auto upgrade now. Okay, here's VJ Streeter. Maybe I'll do it with these corners too. Just to see what they become. 76. Okay. Okay. The corner situation is not near as bad as it has been. It's still not good, but we've made some improvements from developing these players from within. This guy's man coverage is terrible, though. He has great zone, but I really need to focus on his man coverage a little bit. You think Pryor is going to be a beast? It's certainly possible. Okay, so let's go back to the offseason now that we've done that a little bit. Thank you, Wiffle. How did you do that? It never lets me. It never lets me do that. I don't know why. I always click the button and nothing happens. Okay. So, again, I am I really just need to focus on hitting the home run instead of... I don't know. Maybe I should go... The thing is, here, here's my concern. If I trade up to take Lion... I'm not going to have a first round draft pick to take one of these guys. And that is a big issue for me. So I think, I mean, we can try to make a move. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. All right, later, Whiffle. Thank you so much for your help. What up, Joey Mack? How you doing, man? All right. Maybe I do need a third running back, huh? With all the injuries I've been having. Just get a third string back just in case something goes down and I have a lot of injuries taking place. Be prepared. Is anybody down here with like a good combine? Alright. Oh. Alright. Not bad. Just again, worst case scenario type guy. Alright, let's see. I don't have running back. I have two running backs on my team, dude. I, I can't trade running backs. Alright, let's see. Let's see what do we got. Get rid of that. Okay, cool. Hopefully we can uh, improve this team in the draft though. Okay, so we're getting trade offers for Mulligan here. 24 years old, 81 overall. I To me, he's worth much more than a third-round draft pick. I can get a second next year. Um, but I'd, I'd rather just hold on to him. I mean, I if I'm going to trade him, I could throw him into another trade to maybe move up and get that a higher draft pick. Offers for Duke Johnson. Third-round draft picks, I believe, next year. Doesn't make sense to me right now. I haven't played 2K yet. I don't know if I'll be able to. We'll have to see if it'll download or not because there's that massive update. So we'll see. 
Oh, this impact block sucks, but I could maybe use another guy here. Fifth round, your strength is awful, though. I could maybe move one of these guards over to play there. Honestly, I wonder if I could move him over. All right. Outside linebackers. I could continue to scout outside linebackers if I do trade that guy. Maybe to get a backup in place already. But I think I already have depth there regardless. All the safeties always have freaking incredible combines. <laughs> I have come to find out. Okay, what else do I need? I mean, I have so many scouting points and I'm looking around. I'm like, what else do I really need to scout at this point? If I wanted to get another running back, I don't know. Or fullback, I mean, instead of Johnson. I have no idea. I've scouted, like, most of what I need. I think I am losing a wide receiver or two in free agency. So maybe some, like, late round guys here just in case. See if anybody stands out. I mean... Boy, this guy's really not that bad for sixth round talent. Got some good hands anyway. Keep an eye on him. Uh, yeah, we might play on the Minecraft server later. Probably. I know, I could cut them though. I could easily cut the other fullbacks. It was my thinking. If we get an upgrade, that is. If we can get some upgrades. View free agency recap. I really hope there's a backup quarterback here for me to sign. Sam Martin, Appalachian State, though. Okay, so I can I can still get McDermott here. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Okay, let's go look at league signings. Uh, there was some good quarterbacks here. At least Tompkins was going to the Redskins. Roethlisberger going to the Dolphins. Cross going to the Eagles. And Adamica Sue going to the... Broncos, Plummer going to the Chiefs, Christian going to the Chiefs, so they just improved their secondary a lot, Doug Baldwin going to the Chiefs, boy the Chiefs getting a whole lot of players here, Phil, uh, that's not Phil Dawson, uh, Dawson going to the Rams, Hayward going to the Dolphins, here's the Chiefs again, oh my gosh, Alshon Jeffrey going to the Rams, Matt Ryan going back to the Falcons to end his career, leaving the 49ers there. The Chiefs, oh, that's just a punter, though. Boy, the Chiefs signing a lot of pretty good players here, though. Team to keep an eye out for. All right. <clears throat> Later, Vikes. Take it easy, man. Hey, no worries, Dylan. I hope she starts to feel better soon. NFL Draft, here we go.